I didn't expect to see what I saw. Like they, they got really crazy. The frantic rush to cash in on cheap gas causes a whole lot of chaos. From a car crash to long lines of vehicles stretching down as far as the eye could see. There you see the view from Chopper 13. A gas station promotion caught the attention of Valley drivers. Terrible Herps was selling gas at 60 cents a gallon. Yeah, and 13 Action News reporter Austin Carter is live at the gas station tonight where things are much calmer now. Austin. <laughs> Yeah, Trisha and Todd, they sure are. And we're right off the 215 here on Jones. And things as you can see pretty much are back to normal, but a much different scene just a few hours ago as folks were lining up trying to get into this terrible gas station right here behind me. Can only imagine the frustration among other drivers who were on their way home who got caught in the middle of all of this, dealing with all that extra traffic. Chaos over cheap gas. Man. Folks rush to the terrible herbs at Sunset and Jones in the southwest for 60 cents a gallon, but quickly found themselves pumping the brakes. Two hour wait, but it went by quick. Almost two hours. The deal, a part of a promotion from terrible herbs as they celebrate 60 years in the valley. The catch, the deal only happening at one location, which was announced through their app. The 60 cent gas only for purchase between 5 and 7 p.m. right in the middle of rush hour in an already busy part of the valley. Should have way more police presence going forward. Chopper 13 fast and first over the area. You can see what looks like miles of cars on sunset all waiting to fill up. Metro officers were also in the area directing traffic. But some folks in line like Jamila Taylor say other drivers weren't playing fair. Some even going to the extreme to get to the pump. I saw an SUV almost run a car like off the road trying to cut them um, and then they were letting other people in front of them. It's it just been crazy. And right at the intersection, we spotted this crash. We're told by police no one was injured and we're working to learn if it was related to all of that extra cheap gas traffic. But despite woes from drivers, folks that finally made it to the pump say the long wait was well worth it. So I'm an Uber driver, so I use a lot of gas, so definitely saving a lot of money. And now it's the wait until next Thursday. That's when Terribles will announce which one of their gas station is next for that 60 cents a gallon promotion. And Todd and Trisha, it will definitely be interesting to see how Metro handles this again and what that gas station and the area roads around it will look like. For now, I'm reporting live in the Southwest Valley, Austin Carter, 13 Action News. Yeah, a lot of planning, you think, right there yeah, might absolutely. be needed. All right, thanks a lot, Austin. Well,